Hey guys, welcome to Off The Grid. Well, it's Mike. It's Dan. Don't forget to check out the Double Chain Show and follow us on Instagram and Snapchat, all that good stuff. Hey Dan, you know what I love? What's that? Big family dinners. Yeah, I do like those. I do they like those. They are the best. Those are awesome. Everyone's together and there are tons of amazing food. What more can you ask for? But uh, you've got to admit, Asian family dinners can get pretty interesting. And by interesting, I mean completely normal for us, but maybe not so much for other people. Bro, I know exactly what you mean. So here are the different types of people you'll find at the Asian dinner table. Number one, the food photographer. I think we're all kind of guilty of that. If you don't take a picture of your food, did you really eat it? I say no, you did not. With all the food photography going on today, taking over Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and every other social media site or app, you think the answer was no. But if you thought your Insta-famous friends were bad, wait until you meet the Asian parent. Perfect. Now that's gonna be worth at least a hundred likes. Okay, let's eat. No, wait, my turn. Okay, so uh, wait, how you make this bigger? Yeah, very good, very good. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, okay. Okay, another another one. Okay, now good. Number two, the speed eater. On the flip side, there's the person who can't wait to dig into the food and full on inhales it all in one go. It's actually pretty impressive and uh, kind of scary. And probably not healthy to be honest, but hey, food makes people do crazy things, right? That's right, I believe in that. Dude, I can't wait. Thanks, man. See you later. Number three, the slurper. Scarfing down your food is one thing, but doing it so loudly that everyone else at the dinner table and uh, maybe even in the next room can hear, that's a different story. Look, every Asian slurps, right? But when you take it to the next level, I mean, there's boundaries. Usually it's just how the person was raised. Uh, maybe he or she is just really enjoying the food. It just tends to be less appetizing to uh, people around those people. You know what I mean? Soup is awesome. Ah, oh, it's good. All right, I'm a little bit embarrassed of the next one, but I gotta say, um, there's at least one person in my family that is this person. Who this is, is the spitter? Next, we have the food uh, and sister. I mean, no one likes a messy and considerate eater, but on the other end of the spectrum, you can be a little too courteous. And everybody has one of these people in their families, right? Usually an aunt or a mom or an uncle. They're just really eager to get as much food on your plate as possible. And you know, because they're trying to show their love because uh, you know, that's how they say, I love you. Here is a piece of fish, which is great, right? Until it goes a little overboard. Or well, worse, you don't like the food you're being served because then you're pretty much obligated to eat it anyway. Yeah, you're so skinny. You need to eat more. This is all for you. Uh, let mom give to you. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Taller, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's, 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 that's not enough. That's not enough. That's too much. We order that's more. Not enough. More here. The next one, the tea pourer. I love this one. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like the food and sisters, like over generous friend which is the tea pourer. This person will take it into his own hands to make sure everyone's teacup is always filled all the time. I mean, at least you'll never go thirsty though. Yeah, but I might have to go to the bathroom like seven times. <sighs> oh, that's some good tea, bro. Top that off for you. Uh, appreciate that. Tea. Yo. Mm. Next, 
the fear factor enthusiast. The fear factor enthusiast specializes in internal organs, eyeballs, brains, and all those good stuff. In fact, this person intentionally seeks them out. He'll fight you for them. Though I don't think many other people would put up much of a fight, to be honest. I mean, I gladly surrender all of my chicken brains, cow intestines to you. Be my guest. Hey, you know, those are actually pretty good. So I don't know what your problem is. Yeah, that's you. Yo, you gonna, you gonna eat all the brains? Yo, I, I love brains. Oh, ooh, ooh, fish eyeball. You gonna eat the fish eyeball? You don't want any of this, right? I'm just gonna, this, this, is, oh, this is like Christmas for me. Whoa, fish scales, frog legs. Yo, you sure you don't want any of this? Pig's blood, oh my God, it's so good. Finally, we have the food benefit maker upper. Whew. Yeah, this one goes hand in hand with the fear factor enthusiast. The food benefit maker upper not only enjoys eating organs and eyeballs and all that stuff, but loves throwing out questionable health claims about each food. Yeah, Asian parents usually take the you are what you eat to the next level. You guys know what we're talking about. Eat the fish eyes, it'll make you see clearer. I mean, Asian parents take it to the next level, you know? Who knows, are these even true? But you gotta do what you gotta do. Whatever makes the intestine go down easier. So Mike, what's tripe good for? Tripe is good for my stomach. Okay. <laughs> Cause See stomach that? is good for your stomach. Yeah, that's the reasoning. <laughs> so you're basically telling me if you eat any part of the animal, it's good for your corresponding organ? That's right! That's the My mom thing told me that. So maybe I'll be like, hey, why don't you eat all those fish scales so that you can grow tougher skin? Doesn't make any sense. No, fish scales gives you smooth skin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, let me ask you though. Do you wear contacts? No. Do you wear glasses? No, I mean, I I need contact. Okay. So yeah, let me I ask mean, you again. Do you like fish eyeballs? No, I don't. That's the correlation. <laughs> if you ate fish uh -huh. eyeballs, you wouldn't need glasses. Just saying. 2020 vision. Right here. All right, you got right me here. right there. You got me right there. Eat more of this pig boy, make you smarter, and eat this fish eyeball, Ew, make you see mom. better. Very good for you. That's gross. Guys, we hope you enjoyed that video. Definitely let us know if we left anybody else Ooh, out. There is the, there is the, uh, every time you go to like an Asian dinner, yeah. there's always the guy who serves you the food, yeah. but they lick the chopsticks, right. and then they serve you again, then they lick the chopsticks some more, then they serve you again. It's gross. <laughs> That's gross. That's like you, actually. Yeah. You're, you're like, like the double dipping, quadruple dipping man. We don't want any of that at our table. Uh, there's another one. What? If usually you're at a dinner with like 10 people in your family, different generations, you always get somebody that's also the food, like, like don't eat too much of that. Somebody's always like, don't eat too much of those. Oh, yeah. And it could be like anything. Yeah. Like you could be eating veggies. They always say, shang huo. Yeah. You're going to heat up. It's basically the shang huo. It's the inflammatory person. Yeah. Because you could even be eating like green vegetables and they just see that you're eating too much and they're just like, oh, stop well, eating on the other hand, there's the uh, picky person. There's a picky one? The, the person who's like, hey, you got to eat more of this. You gotta eat more of that. Oh, Do yeah. Don't chigar jiga. Don't chigar naga. Eat more of this. Eat more of that. Eat more veggies. Eat more fish eyes. That's those type of this people. This is why Chinese dinners are crazy. Cause yeah. you've got like one person contradicting another person and you're just like, man, I just want to have some mapa tofu. I'm always afraid to eat too much of something because I see something really, you know, awesome, like a, like a wild boar. And I want to just like eat it all. And then my mom be like, but don't eat that, don't you? Don't eat a piece. You can only eat one piece. I'm like, ah. <laughs> you put it in front of me, a whole pig. You can't. You only will let me eat one piece. That's not how this is done. All right, guys. Also, I want to throw this out there. Hmm. He loves to double dip, and he even thinks that's normal, and he thinks that's awesome. And he even tried to pull up a BuzzFeed article to convince me that's okay. All right, Team Mike, Team Dan. No double dipping here. Lover of double dipping. Hashtag let us know double comments dip. below. Thank you so much for watching everybody. See you later. Later. That was good, that was good. <laughs>